Hello, my students. Today, we will solve the homework given on derivatives. We took yesterday the first four rules on derivatives. Let's remember them together. If f of x equals constant, then the derivative of f of x, which is f prime of x, is zero. If f of x equals ax, then the derivative in this case is the coefficient of x, which is a. If f of x equals ax to the power n, then the derivative f prime of x is the power multiplied by the coefficient multiplied by x to the power n minus 1. If f of x equals c of x plus g of x plus or minus, طبعاً, plus or minus, etc. In this case, in addition and subtraction, the derivative f prime of x is the derivative of each term alone. That means c prime of x plus minus g prime of x plus minus, etc. Let's start. Uh, by the first rule, rule 1 said, if f of x equals a and a is constant belong to set R, then the derivative is 0. Calculate the derivative f prime of x in each of the following function. Part A, f of x equals 2 and 2 is constant, then directly the derivative is f prime of x is 0. Part B, f of x equals minus 10, and minus 10 is constant, then the derivative f prime of x is 0. Part C, f of x equals 3 over 2, and 3 over 2 is constant, then the derivative f prime of x is 0. And part D, f of x equals radical 11, and radical 11 is constant, then the derivative is 0. So, f prime of x will be 0. Now, let's go to rule 2. Rule 2 said if f of x equals ax, yani number multiplied by x, then the derivative is the coefficient of x, which is a. So, we have the following exercise. If we want to calculate the derivative of the following function, part a, f of x equals 3x, then the derivative is f prime of x equals the coefficient of x, which is 3. Part b, f of x equals minus 2x, then the derivative is f prime of x equals the coefficient of x, which is minus 2. If we have f of x equals 3 over 2 multiplied by x, يعني على الرول a multiplied by x, then the derivative f prime of x is the coefficient of x, which is 3 over 2. Part d, if we have f of x equals radical 3x, then the derivative here, f prime of x equals the coefficient of x, which is radical 3. If f of x equals x in part e, then the derivative here is the coefficient of x, and here the coefficient is 1, so the derivative of x is 1. Let's go to rule 3. Rule 3, the power rule. If we have f of x equals ax to the power n, then the derivative of f prime of x is the power multiplied by the coefficient. Then we will reduce the power of the variable by 1. So, let's apply some exercises. Calculate the derivative of f prime of x in each part. We have part a f of x equals x squared, then the derivative is equal to f prime equals 2 multiplied by the coefficient, which is 2 uh, multiplied by x, and the power will, re will be reduced by 1 to get 2x to the power 1. Here we have f of x equals minus 2x to the power 4. We will multiply the power by the coefficient and we will reduce the power by 1 to get minus 2 multiplied by 4 is minus 8x to the power and 4 minus 1 is 3. 
part C is f of x equals minus 3x to the power 5, then the derivative f prime of x is the coefficient multiplied by the power, multiplied by the variable x, and we will reduce the power by 1. So f prime of x is equal to minus 3 times 5 is minus 15x to the power 5 minus 1 is 4. In part D, we have f of x equals 3 over 5 x to the power 4. In this case, we will say f prime of x equals to the coefficient, which is 3 over 5, multiplied by the power, which is 4, multiplied by the variable, and here the power will be reduced by 1. So we will get f prime of x equals here over 1, 3 times 4 is 12 over 5 times 1 is 5 multiplied by x to the power 4 minus 1 which is 3. In part E, f of x equals radically 3x to the power 7, then f prime of x is the coefficient which is radically 3 multiplied by the power which is 7 multiplied by x and this power will be reduced by 1. So f prime of x is 7 radically 3 x to the power 7 minus 1 is 6. Part f, f of x equals minus 2 x to the power 4 over 3. Here the derivative is the coefficient which is minus 2 multiplied by the power which is 4 multiplied by x to the power 4 over 3 minus 1. Then f prime here 4 over 3 then f prime of x equals 2. Minus 2 times 4 is minus 8 and 1 times 3 is 3 x to the power. We will make like a denominator for the power. Here we will multiply by 3 and here we will multiply by 3 to get 4 minus 3 is 1 over 3. Then f prime equals to minus 8 over 3 x to the power 1 over 3. Part G we have f of x equals minus 2 over 5 x to the power 5 over 2. Then the derivative is the power multiplied by the coefficient minus 2 over 5 multiplied by 5 over 2 multiplied by x to the power 5 over 2 minus 1. The power is reduced by 1. So we will have f prime of x equals 2. Here 2 and 2 will be cancelled and 5 and 5. So we will get minus x to the power 5 over 2 minus 1. We will make like denominator. Here we will multiply by 2 and here by 2. To get f prime of x equals minus x to the power 5 minus 2 is 3 over 2. In part h, f of x equals minus half x squared, then the derivative f prime of x equals 2. The coefficient will be multiplied by the power to get minus half multiplied by 2, x to the power 2 reduced by 1. So f prime of x is 2 and 2 are cancelled, and we will have minus x to the power 1, which is minus x. Let's go to uh, rule 4. We have if f of x equals g of x plus or minus c of x plus or minus etc. Then the derivative f prime of x is equal to the derivative of the first term plus or minus the derivative of the second term plus or minus the derivative of third term etc. So we will calculate the derivative f prime of x in each part. We have f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus 3. So f prime of x will be the derivative of each term alone. So x squared, the derivative of x squared is what? We will multiply the power by the coefficient to get 2 and we will reduce the power by 1. Plus 5x it is on the rule ax and its uh, derivative is the coefficient, so it is a plus 5 and the 3 is constant, so the derivative is 0. Implies f prime of x equals to 2x plus 5. 
Part B we have f of x equals minus 2x to the power 4 minus 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus x minus 9. The first term is in the form ax to the power n. The second term also in the form ax to the power n. And the same as for the third term and here in the form ax and here constant. So we have said that if we have ax, the derivative is a. If we have constant, zero. If we have a x to the power n, then the derivative a and x to the power n minus 1. So let's solve part b. If a prime of x is 4 times minus 2 is minus 8 x to the power and the power 4 will be reduced by 1 to be 3 minus 3 times, min, times 3 is 9 x to the power and we will reduce the power by 1 to get 2. A plus 2 times 4 is 8 and we will reduce the power by 1 to get 1 and minus x the derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of the constant 9 is 0 so the final answer of the derivative is minus 8 x cubed minus 9 x squared plus 8 x minus 1 part c if we have f of x equals 7 x to the power 4 minus x squared minus x so f prime of x equals 2 here we will multiply 4 by 7 to get the 28 x and we will reduce the power by 1 to get the 3 minus we will multiply 2 by the coefficient 1 which is 2 x and we will reduce the power by 1 to get x to the power 1 minus x and the derivative of x is 1 Part D, we have f of x equals x to the power 5, which is a x to the power n minus x cubed, which is a x to the power n, and here x squared a x to the power n, and x in the form a x. So the derivative of f of x, which is f prime of x equals to 5 multiplied by the coefficient 1, which is 5 x to the power, and we will reduce the power by 1 to get power 4 minus 3 multiplied by the coefficient 1 and multiplied by x to the power 2 because we will reduce from the power 1 minus here 2 will be multiplied by the coefficient to get 2 and we will reduce the power by 1 and the derivative of x is 1 now in part e we have f of x equal 3 over 2 x to the power 4 plus 1 over 3 x cubed plus 3 over 4 x squared plus x. To make the derivative we will take the derivative of each term alone. So we will multiply the coefficient by the power to get the 3 over 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by x and we will reduce this power by 1 to get the 3 a plus and here we will multiply the power by the coefficient to get 1 over 3 multiplied by 3 and we will reduce the power by 1. A plus here we will multiply the power 2 by the coefficient 3 over 4 and we will reduce the power by 1 to get 1 plus the derivative of x is 1. The answer is uh, 4 and 2 will be cancelled to get here 2 and 2 multiplied by 3 as 6 x cubed a plus 3 and 3 will be cancelled to get x squared a plus 2 and 4 will be cancelled and here we have 2 to get the 3 over 2 x plus 1 in part f we have f of x equals minus 3 x to the power 4 over 3 minus 3 x to the power 3 over 2 plus 1 over 5 x to the power 5 over 2 minus x to the power half plus 2 over 3. Let's start. f prime of x equals 2. First, we will multiply the power by the coefficient to get minus 3 multiplied by 4 over 3 multiplied by x and we will reduce the, the power by 1. Minus here we will multiply the coefficient by the power 3 times 3 over 2 and the power will be reduced by 1. Here also we will multiply the power by the coefficient 1 over 5 multiplied by 5 over 2 x to the power 5 over 2 minus 1. 
minus here we will multiply the power by the coefficient to get 1 multiplied by half x to the power half uh, minus 1 and the derivative of, of 2 over 3 is 0 because it is constant now let's simplify here we put over 1 we can cancel 3 by 3 and here we will make common denominator we will multiply by 3 and here we will multiply by 3 then the derivative is minus 4x 4 minus 3 is 1 over 3 the first one minus here we will put 1 3 times 3 is 9 1 times 2 is 2 to get 9 over 2 x to the power here we will make common denominator we will multiply by 2 we will multiply by 2 3 minus 2 is 1 over 2 a plus here we can cancel 5 by 5 and we will have a half multiplied by x to the power. We will make common denominator, multiply here by 2 and here by 2. 5 minus 2 is 3 over 2. A minus 1 times half is a half x to the power we will make common denominator here we will multiply by 2 and here we will multiply by 2. 1 minus 2 is minus 1 over 2 and the 0 is removed uh, in the last exercise but the heck is all in an amazon x to the power minus half hey the better is a habit amila minus 1 over 2 x to the power half in order to zero let to higher is our power is a habit to the other best but love a hide it area وشكرا كتير ويعطيكم ألف عافية